Starting at defense, number five, Matt Chandler, number six, Aaron Syverson, and number 12, Drew Brown. And for Ohio State in goal, McLaughlin in the back line, Demian, Sullivan, Gila, and Velios in the midfield, Green, Grinstead, Wooden, Johnson, and Samways, and up top, Tanner Creech for the Buckeyes as we get started here in Madison. A lot on the line, especially for Ohio State. They have a chance to win the Big Ten regular season title. They can share it or they can win it alone, depending on how other results go in Bloomington between Indiana and Maryland. So three teams could potentially come away with the title, Maryland, Ohio State, and Indiana. So a lot on the line here on the final day of the Big Ten regular season. Absolutely. For Ohio State, they got a lot on the line here. For Wisconsin, it's as simple as just getting one last win. It's senior day here at McClyman. Uh, Maryland wins the Big Ten title outright with a Wisconsin win here today. So there are tremendous implications here for Ohio State. For Ohio State to even have a chance at that title, a lot of other things have to happen extraneously. So a crucial win needed here for Ohio State to set the stage here. And Wisconsin have already qualified for the Big Ten tournament. Can't really move up, so not a lot of pressure on them other than just beating their historic rivals, Ohio State. Of course, one of the biggest rivalries in all of the Big Ten in any sport. And they have a chance to spoil the title hopes for Ohio State on senior day. Bilek battling for it with Wooten. Cleared away now by Sullivan. Forward by Keith now, letting it run and then sending it away was Velios. So what's interesting is Ohio State, of course, number 13 in the nation, very, very good this year especially have not beaten Wisconsin since 2015. Have not won here at McClyman since 2014. Absolutely, it's been a bit of a shocking statistic to see that. Nearly a full decade's gone on since they've beaten Wisconsin at McClyman. So maybe a trend will be broken or maybe it'll be kept up today, who knows? Now's the time to break that streak if you're Ohio State. No game is more important than this final game. Season on the line here. Wooden, the man who's been the hero so many times for Ohio State this season. In fact, in his Ohio State career as a whole. Sliding challenge made by Keefe on the cross attempt by Velios. And we have ourselves today's first corner. And so historically, Wisconsin struggled with those corner kicks. It's been a major point of concern for them, just getting that uh, you know, defense off the corner and clearing it. So let's see if they can you know, end this one a little bit early and just get that corner kick blocked here, or if Ohio State's going to continue with yet another trend here at McClendon. Ball put in by Samways to the back post, headed out of play. It was off a of Buckeye last. He was at the byline and couldn't quite get to it. That was Lawrence Wooten. And Wisconsin will come away with a goal kick back to take it. One of the seniors honored on senior day, Carter Abbott, who still has a chance to play for Wisconsin next year as he does have his COVID year of eligibility. I'm Absolutely. sure that's not really on his mind right now, but something to consider. We might have one more year of Carter Abbott. Abbott's been so crucial to the success of the Badgers this year. Even though it's been a tough year for them on offense and defense, Abbott overall has been just been there to keep games close when they matter most. Joachim Johnson. Couple of moves, can't get by Syverson and Bilek's gonna send it clear only as far as Owen Sullivan and it's flicked on. Here's Sullivan with it again and he goes back to Demian. Sullivan who was Named Ohio State's most improved player last season. Has been a rock solid option at center back for Ohio State this season. Keenan chasing, pushed off the ball by Velios. Nicely done from him and a goal kick for Ohio State. So 
So there are a few scenarios, and we will, of course, keep you updated throughout the game. The Maryland-Indiana game, the game that Ohio State fans should care about other than this one, doesn't start until 1 p.m. Central. So as soon as that starts, we will keep you updated. But what matters most now for Ohio State, it doesn't matter what happens in Bloomington. Ohio State need a win in order to even be considered for the title. Chasing is Creech. Play is made, but not out. Edge of the area. Green sends it back. Wooten swings it across. Finnegan with a defensive play made. Popkowitz slips, but still makes the play. And now here comes Finnegan trying to get it out, and he'll draw a foul, and Wisconsin have a free kick the first of the day. And it's now Drew Brown standing over it, who scored his first career goal. He is a freshman, but first career goal against Maryland, a 2-2 draw a couple weeks ago. Very important for Ohio State, actually, is took some points off the board for Maryland, giving them one rather than all three, which is why this title race is so tight here at the end. Flicked on by Syverson. The one-two is played. Wampler into the area. It's taken away by Sullivan. Wooten has to get rid of it, he does. Still not out though. Cleared up the field by Demian. Over the foot of Urabarin. Brown sends it back up. Velios, former Vancouver Whitecaps Academy member. The Canadian, one of the best academies in Canada. Of course, one of the MLS teams as he draws a foul there and wins a free kick. So far in the opening few minutes, no real looks at goal. Both teams have been struggling slightly to possess the ball and keep hold of it. As I'm sure the nerves are flowing for both sides, but especially Ohio State with all of this on the line. Chandler headed away. Keenan brings it down for Irabaran but it skips by Bilek. Sullivan up forward. Too far ahead of Green. Keith shielding, he'll take a throw for Wisconsin. <laughs> up by Irabaran, looking for Wampler. Wampler brings it down nicely. Did it go off of him last? It went off of Sullivan, so Wisconsin have a throw up the field now. And it'll be Keefe again. <laughs> Finnegan brings it down. Putting a foot in though was Wooten. Chandler, a little step over, lets it run. We'll take another throw. Chandler across to Brown. Brown, who's definitely in contention for one of the best freshmen in the Big Ten, has had an unbelievable season has played every single minute along with Matt Chandler and Carter Abbott this season. Out wide is Keith. Heavy touch from Bilek, but he recovers nicely. Brown at the halfway line. Urabaran goes back to Brown. <laughs> Flicked on by Wampler. Here come Wisconsin the other way, just outside the area. Play is made by Gila, but taken right back by Syverson, who puts the ball in the box over the head of Max Keenan, who's going to chase with Johnson 
Johns is able to shield and win a throw for Ohio State. Velios down the line looking for Creech. Creech got a shoulder to it, but Syverson takes it for Wisconsin. It's Popkowitz now from the back line. Pass intercepted by Gila. Over to his European teammate, Wooten. And to another in Johnson, but that's given away. Keenan. Velios does nicely to get it to Sullivan and out of harm's way. Good pressure from Wisconsin. Ohio State need to be careful here. Is it kept in? No, it is not, but great pressure from Jack Finnegan. Yeah, Finnegan's been so crucial in the Badgers' success on offense. Very speedy, very fast, very good to place that ball whenever he's close to that goal. Just couldn't make it at that one, but expect to see a lot of his presence continually through this match. And he had a slow start to the season, but ever since Big Ten play started, and especially in the second half of the regular season, Jack Finnegan has been one of the most important players for Wisconsin. And here he is again. Great bit of play by Finnegan, but a good tackle by Gila. Wisconsin will take yet another throw. Chandler from the back, gonna swing it over to Keith. Here at Barn, it's picked off him. Here is Joe Kim Johnson. Johnson going into the area. Still not out, a tackle from Keefe. Great play there by Keefe. And it looks like he gets taken down and he wins a free kick. A great play by Keefe. He's showing that sportsmanship there too, helping up his opponent there. But what a play, blocking that potential pass for a goal and then blocking that other uh, dribble there by Ohio State. It's a great play overall. And it takes a certain level of confidence and comfortability to make a tackle like that in the box. Of course, one wrong move, and it's not just a free kick, it's a penalty kick. So composure shown there by Ryan Keefe to make a couple of good plays in the area. Flicked on by Irabaran. Over the foot of Keenan, and here is Johnson again, the speedy Norwegian winger for Ohio State, and he'll win a free kick. And maybe a little slow to get up there, Joe Kim Johnson. But a free kick for Ohio State standing over it. Dalen Velios, who goes to the back line for Sullivan. Velios gets it back, though. Gila has a lot of space here. The overlap put into the box. Creech tried to get to it. Syverson will have it last for Wisconsin. He needs to get rid of it. It's given away though, just outside the area. Sent across. Joe Kim Johnson. Green gets it taken away. And Syverson has it for the Badgers. Finnegan now loads of space ahead of him. Watch Bilek, watch Bilek coming up the center. Finnegan cutting inside. Blocked, but here is Bilek now in the area. Syverson puts one towards goal. McLaughlin makes the save. But a good run from Finnegan. His shot was blocked. Bilek did well to get the ball to Syverson, whose cross was just a bit too close to the goal. And it was straight into the hands of McLaughlin instead. Here is Johnson, who finds himself in so much space so often. Xavier Green gets called for a foul on Inyaki Irabaran. 
So Wisconsin getting away from that attacking chance from the Buckeyes. Thomas Gila not happy with that foul call for the Buckeyes. And it seemed like one of those that could have gone either way and you would be frustrated because they were on the attack and had some numbers forward, but Wisconsin getting the better of that and almost getting bailed out there. Wampler and Popkowitz wins it nicely. Finnegan, Bilek goes back for Brown. Chasing is Creech. Chandler from the back. Bilek has it. Gila puts a foot in front and it goes out of play off of Gila. Wisconsin have another throw. And Gila who has appeared in 38 of a possible 39 in his career so far with the Buckeyes. That one miss was this season. But the sophomore from Germany, one of the most important parts of this Ohio State team. Johnson finds himself in some space here. Green. Velios. And Green cannot keep it in. A heavy touch from his teammate. And Wisconsin will get a throw. But that left side for Ohio State, Matt, looking dangerous. Yeah, looking dangerous. A very weird looking miscue there, though. Uh, it looks like Grinstead for Ohio State put a little bit too much on that kick, uh, on a little bit too much on that pass, and uh, Green just wasn't able to get to it. But overall, that left side has been able to really expose Wisconsin's weakness on just defending that left side right now, uh, coming up uh, further on the pitch here. And they've done well so far, but you have to contain Joachim Johnson. Of course, one of the fastest players in the Big Ten is known for terrorizing the right side of defense for other teams as he is just so speedy on the left side on the left wing. So that's going to be one of the big keys for Wisconsin's defense going into this game. How can you stop Joe Kim Johnson? It's going to be a tough stop here. We'll see what they can do. He's got a lot, a lot of experience. He played in the third division of Norwegian professional soccer with odds BK. Now finds himself in the Midwest. Bit of a scenery change. But he's done well to adapt. Scored his first career goal at Michigan on October 11th of this season. Here is Tim Bilek. Lovely ball played forward. Keenan, of course he's gonna score. Never in doubt, Bilek to Keenan. We've seen that before. That connection has been immaculate all year. Just what a connection there. Bilek with a perfect pass behind the Ohio State defender right into the corner of the center box. And you almost got to feel bad for McLaughlin. Can't really guard against that. Keenan with a perfectly placed shot into the upper right corner of the net. And it's 1-0 Badgers. 26-47 left in the first half of this game. It's textbook Wisconsin. The Wisconsin, Wisconsin. goal scored by goal number scorer, eight, Max, Max Keenan. Keenan. Number seven on the season for him. Tim Bilek, who leads the Wisconsin 10, Badgers Tim in Bilek. assists, now has six. It's the leading assist getter, combining with the leading goal scorer. It just happens every game now at this point. And what a ball from Tim Bilek, making it so easy for Max Keenan. Nothing taken away from that finish from him, but an incredible ball. Probably the best the pass the I've seen him make. An assist from number 21, Michael Wampler. And they'll give a secondary assist to Michael Wampler. And I mean, that ball was just appetizing to say the least. My goodness, Timmy Bilek. So a huge dent in the hopes of Ohio State's title charge. We'll see how they can answer. They're gonna have to answer pretty quickly to get some momentum back. Ball whipped in, Abbott there first. 
Here come Wisconsin now. Don't quite have the numbers, but they have the speed. Here's Jack Finnegan. Finnegan going towards goal. Gets stopped up. Good play by Nathan Demian. Chandler coming across, trying to shield it away from Demian. And he does, and he wins the throw in. So after that goal, a uh, chance to make a substitution for Ohio State. Just looking on the sideline, Luciano Picota, who is about ready to come on and try and provide a lifeline for Ohio State. Badger fans, after the Badgers' first goal with 27.33 on the clock in the first half, Gary Smith is today's winner of the goal of the game. Please stop by the Wisconsin table to claim your prize. Wampler, heavy touch off of his thigh. So Ohio State have the throw, and now the substitution will be made. So Pakota coming on, and it looks like could be Parker Grinstead coming off. No, it is Joachim Johnson as Parker Grinstead now shifts over to the left side. And Pakota. That one for the Buckeyes, number 14, Luciano. Uh, number nine position. Here he is. Gets it right back. Wooten. Velios finds Grinstead. Grinstead going central, finding Gila. Gila, nice ball played across for Velios. In by Wooten, the header just wide by Parker Grinstead. But a well-worked play by Ohio State there. Abbott pushing his team forward on the goal kick. He sends it out of play. A bit of a miss kick from him. He apologizes to his team and gets reset again as Ohio State get the ball right back at around the halfway line. Here come the Buckeyes, but a miscue between teammates there results in a turnover. The ball looking for Bilek, wasn't on. Irabaran tried to thread the needle. Syverson wins the header. Keenan. Back to Keefe. Keefe giving away. Gila puts his foot through that. And it'll roll all the way back just for a throw, not quite a goal kick. So a little fortunate there for Ohio State. Wisconsin does well to get away from it here, but a heavy touch from Wampler. Here is Pakota. He's able to get it back to Demian, who slides it across. Pakota's been quite active since coming on a few minutes ago. He wins the throw for Ohio State. It's kept in by the Buckeyes. Syverson wins the header. And then cleared away by Popkowitz just over the head of Gila. Wampler never got to it though and it's slid across to Velios. Grinstead plays Wooten. Ohio State play advantage. Grinstead takes the shot straight to Abbott. Safe hands from him, but a good chance by Parker Grinstead. 
Getting that one on goal, he had his header sail wide just moments ago. So his second shot of the day. Pinballed off the head of a Badger last. So Ohio State will take the throw. Forward by Gila. Chandler comes across to make the play. And Ohio State have yet another throw in Wisconsin's final third. Wooten chipped it forward. Dealing with it is Popkowitz. And off his clearance, it took a deflection off of a Buckeye and out for a Wisconsin now throw. Badgers, so number 26, now Wisconsin Mitchell, have a chance Dryden. to make a substitution. It's Michael Wampler coming off, and it is the super sub, Mitchell Dryden, coming back on in the striker position, hoping to end his scoring drought. Gila sends it forward again. Chandler's going to have to play a defensive shield from him, and it's out for a Wisconsin goal kick. So another good play by Matt Chandler, who's been rock solid, of course, all season, but so far impeccable in the game. Chandler's been great today so far, boxing off uh, Ohio State players and boxing them out of trying to keep the ball in bounds. Uh, just been playing perfectly, honestly. Really just setting up those goal kicks for Carter Abbott very well. So uh, the senior is just doing a great job so far today. Yeah, and what a pickup, as we mentioned, all season long for Wisconsin, bringing him in from St. John. And as a member of that team last season, him along his uh, St. John teammates in the back line ranked number one in the country in clean sheet percentage. 60% of the games that Chandler played last season were clean sheets. So definitely making a name for himself in the college soccer world. Gained some attention from Wisconsin, of course. Now in for the Buckeyes, number nine. This would Devin be his final Etling. season for the Badgers. His uh, substitution made for Ohio State. So Devin Etling coming on and getting a rest is Tanner Creech. Flicked on by Syverson and by Dryden. Gets his first touch of the day. Looking for Pakota in space. Popkowitz coming across. Shielded nicely. And Pakota gives it away. But they do win a throw. Quick throw. Headed on by Etling. Pakota on the right side. Puts the ball into the box. Headed clear, and Bilek just outside the area will take it for the Badgers. Brown clears it away, but it's given away by Brown. Green up for it, plays the one-two. Xavier Green on the outside is Parker Grinstead. Grinstead curls one to the back post and wide. Was looking for a final touch from Etling, who didn't get there in the end. So Wisconsin... Get another goal kick, and Parker Grinstead been creating chances, been putting the ball towards goal many times for Ohio State. Has been probably the only player for the Buckeyes so far creating the chances. Absolutely. The offensive maneuvering is there. That was a really nice setup overall from the Ohio State offense. It's just that the Buckeyes have really struggled putting it in the net today, obviously, being down 1-0. Um, it's just they really, you know, this is a crucial game here. This is their chance at winning the Big Ten Championship. They really need to show a little bit more incentive here and really just push and push. Grinstead can't be the only person getting open on offense for him. They're going to need more. And the attacking, I mean, on paper, the attacking threats and the attacking numbers that Ohio State has is one of the best, not only in the Big Ten, but in the country. So they're going to need to step up. In a game like this, the most important game of their season so far, they're going to need to start stepping up. And here is Pakota now for Ohio State. Into the box. 
Etling brings it down. Green couldn't get to it. Gila has it, swinging it across, but over the head of Dalen Velios, who keeps it in, but gives it straight to Keenan. Keenan finds Bilek, picks him out nicely. Syverson forward for Keenan, who brings it down on the right side. Keenan towards goal, took a deflection. Dryden has it, and it's off the foot of Velio. So Wisconsin have a well-deserved corner kick after all of that. So we're probably gonna see Syverson take this one for the Badgers. He's got a heck of a leg. Uh, let's just see if the Badgers can capitalize. Look for Tim Bilek, who's been capitalizing off of a lot of these corner kicks. He hasn't been able to put a lot of them back in the net, but he's been crucial in fielding these kicks and getting them to his teammates who have been able to capitalize there. So look for Tim Bilek. He's standing at the top of the box here. Let's see what the Badgers go with and this corner kick. We've seen a lot this season, Matt. Tim Bilek at the edge of the area, ready to just thump one home if the ball gets headed away. Ball put in towards goal, cleared away. Bilek not there, Pakota there instead. Great play by Keith to stop it. Counter attack for Ohio State. Keith puts one in. Across to Bilek now. Syverson taken away though. Etling has to deal with it. He does, but he gives it away. So not a bad corner from Wisconsin. Good ball put in, just found the wrong head. Here is Syverson once more on the overlap, finding Finnegan. Finnegan, back out to Syverson. The ball across, edge of the area. Bilek, a touch to Keith. Keith takes a shot, it's blocked. And then cleared away. But a heavy touch from Grinstead, Wisconsin. We'll have a throw and now a double substitution for Ohio State and a single substitution. Now in for the Badgers, number nine, Ignacy Martinez. So Brayden Durbin coming in for Ohio State as well as Chris Dowling. And then in for the Ignacy Buckeyes, number five, Brayden Durbin. Coming in for, it looks to be Jack Finnegan. As well as number 21, Wisconsin. Chris Dowling. So a few uh, midfield reinforcements put on for Ohio State. And an attacking presence put on for Wisconsin. It's Marquez who just got the touch on that there. So Wisconsin will keep possession of the ball in Ohio State's final third. It's cleared away though. Etling, an acrobatic play to keep that in, but it's straight to Drew Brown of Wisconsin. Bilek, can he keep it in? He does on the byline. Put in towards the box, over the head of Dryden. Chasing is Syverson, but Dowling is gonna get there first. Slips, but's able to get the clearance away. Great clear there by Dowling, the resist. Syverson coming in with the head of steam. And is already making himself known as he's just come onto the field, the redshirt senior for Ohio State. Has been a great off the bench presence for the Buckeyes all season long. And not just this season, but in his career with Ohio State. Syverson up and away. All the way back, McLaughlin We'll scoop it up, no problem. And Alex to roll it out to Sullivan. Sullivan, one of three captains of Ohio State this season. Finds his co-captain, Dalen Belios. Demian forward, looking for Etling. Off the side of his head and cleared away by Wisconsin. Marquez, a header forward. Bilek won't chase. Sullivan will send it back to McLaughlin. Great clear there by Irabarin, just with that clear overhead. And that's exactly what you need to see for Wisconsin to just stay in this match and keep that 1-0 lead. Sullivan. 
and he swings it across. Demian looking to go forward here, he does. Oh, not a great pass, and intercepted by Bilek, and now here come the Badgers. Making the run is Bilek, he's gonna look to get it back here, and he does, a great ball played forward. Bilek stopping up and turning. Across to Syverson. Swinging it to Keith. Keith puts one in the area. Headed and a save, and it's put in on the follow up. Syverson putting one in the back of the net. And an Erling Holland celebration. And Wisconsin are up 2 0. Disaster for Ohio State. Syverson putting it in the front of the net. Perfect placement. And it gets tipped off the goalie, completes it, sits down in the corner of the pitch and just meditates for a second and meditates on the fact that the Badgers improbably, impossibly, are above Ohio State right now, 2-0, with 10 the minutes left Johnson in the first goal, half of the match. scored by number six, Aaron Eli Cyberson. This is just unbelievable what we're seeing here, Matt. It's 2-0 in the first half. On the final day, unranked Wisconsin against 13 ranked Ohio State. And now we've been able to see in the last several years, it doesn't matter what position these teams are in, Wisconsin always seem to show up against Ohio State. Still lots of time left for Ohio State, but another huge dent in the title challenge. I have to tell you, Aiden, hopes, dreams, hardships, successes, there are miracles in this sport and in all sports, and if you believe in miracles, then you believe in this miracle in the climate that's happening right now. It truly is. And you have to say, with, of course, the Maryland-Indiana game hasn't even started, Maryland are probably feeling a little bit less pressure going into this final match. As they don't even need to win if Wisconsin can win for them. Wisconsin on the throw. And cleared away. And so we've just been notified that Indiana has scored the first game, the first goal of the match in Maryland, Indiana. So that is going to be a match we will continue to monitor and we will continue to give you a live feed in, not a live feed, but a live scoring update in as it progresses. So two crucial matches going on right now for the Big Ten Championship. And yes, I do apologize. I did think the game was at one o'clock. I misread. But Indiana with the lead against Maryland and Ohio State punching themselves now as I'm sure they have some people on their bench keeping themselves updated with the game. And that's exactly what they needed. They needed Indiana to take the lead against Maryland. So as it stands, of course, things will change, but as it stands, there is gonna be a share of the title if Indiana, of course, can hold on. Now, if Indiana holds on and they beat Maryland and Ohio State loses to Wisconsin, Indiana improbably wins the Big Ten Championship. And of course, the one that has the least likelihood of happening, but we do have to mention if Indiana do beat Maryland and Ohio State somehow tie Wisconsin, there will be a three-way tie for the title in the end. Ohio State shot from distance off the head of Mitchell Dryden and Ohio State have a corner. So a substitution will be made by the Buckeyes in just a few moments. And it's Ashton Bilo question Nine is who's coming up. And it that, looks like it's Xavier Green that's yes. coming on off right now for Ohio State. Yes, Xavier Green does come off and hasn't had a shot on, on goal or even towards goal today. He does lead the team with shots as that corner is lofted into the back post. 
and cleared out of the area. Dowling, his cross is blocked. So Ohio State will take another throw. So Wisconsin will start things up now with a goal kick. And Carter Abbott, who we do hope will return to Wisconsin next year. We'll take this goal kick. Trying to pick out the head of Syverson. Finds Ira Barn instead. Flicked on nicely. Marquez sent to try to get it over to Bilek, but a good play in the end by Samways. And here he is, Samways. Stopped by Wooten. Looking for Etling ahead. Etling gets his head to it. Says he didn't touch it. And then you'll get a corner. A massive, massive, massive opportunity, to say the least, for Ohio State here. Need to take advantage of Wisconsin's struggles on corner kicks, set pieces especially. We'll see what they can make of this one. Ball put into the box. Headed away by Chandler. Nicely done, he came all the way across to make that play. Dowling. Sends it ahead. Durbin into the area. Cleared away nicely and winning a free kick in the process was Drew Brown who gets a huge high five from his center back partner, Matt Chandler. the goal kick, chested across by Etling. Good bit of play here by the Buckeyes. We'll see what they can make of it. Dowling, and not falling for any of that was Keith. He pokes it out right away. Quick throw to Wooden. Velios gets it back, wins. The ball back for Ohio State. Dowling on the overlap. Good tackle by Chandler. Got most of the ball, maybe some of the body. Dowling was not happy about that no call there. He thought it should be a foul there. And I understand the frustration, but it isn't a foul. He got the ball first, and the follow through, he got some of the body, but not enough for a free kick. Ball put into the area. Etling with the header. Abbott there to claim. Abbott, a punt forward. Almost a bit of a collision there. I'm not sure if it was a ball or if it was head to head. Either way, a head injury, so I think the training staff is gonna have to make their way out. And Marquez should have to make his way off the field. And I'm not sure, man. I didn't quite see if it was a head to head collision or if it was just him taking the ball to the head. You could certainly hear it all the way up here. Yeah, it almost sounded like Marquez got his bell rung up here, so. It's good to see that the medical staff is out taking a look at him. They're waving it off. Looks like he's okay. Should be fine, and just in case, it is Mason Henderson about ready to come on if need be. He's only played over a half hour this season. And he'll go back to the bench, and it looks like Marquez will be fine. And 
It looks like the referee is telling him he has to go off now. So he has to go off and then I think he'll be able to come right back on, but it is the rule. So he'll step out just for a second. Wisconsin will play with 10 men. Not for very long though. And back comes Marquez. Who, th that's interesting, I don't know. He was allowed to come back on. He wasn't on the pitch and he was <laughs> about ready to get that pass, but now it turns into a throw in for Ohio State. I'm not sure if that was on the assistant referee who told him to wait or if he was able to come on there as he came on right after that. Interesting miscue, but we go again. So here come Ohio State from the back. Just under two and a half to go in the first half. Etling wins it off of Brown. Does well, Etling. Sends across just outside the box and Dryden will send it into space and it stays in. So a nice clearance from him. A ball into open space. Here is Sullivan launching it forward. Etling coming across. Doesn't get to it, but put some good pressure on. Wooten. Dryden sends it up. Straight up, in fact. And Etling wins the header again. Swinging it across. Samwiz. Into the area. Header by Dowling, and then cleared away by Ira Barron. Ira Barron's had a few really good plays so far this match. He has a lot of them on the defensive side. A couple of great clearances we've seen from him. And I can't help but think how wonderfully physical Devin Etling has been since coming on. He seems to be winning every single ball. I'm surprised the referee hasn't called him on any fouls, but that's exactly what you want from your number nine. And he has been so, so physical. He's won the ball so much as Ohio State wins a free kick and it's quickly played. One minute to Wooden play, puts one, one minute. in. Brown clears it away. Marquez finds Ira Barron. And over the head of Dryden, bit of a panic clearance from him. And here come the Buckeyes. Sullivan sends it across. Demian. Into the area, Chandler with the header. And you can see the physicality shown again by Etling. Just launching himself into Matt Chandler. Almost one from him. And Chandler, of course, 6'6", an absolute giant. Hard to win the ball from him. Velios back into the area, headed away. Here is Lawrence Wooten. Ten. What a save Five. by Eight. Carter Abbott. Seven. What a play. Six. Five. Four. And as that's going to do Three. it for this first Two. half, wow, one. Carter Abbott. Have a chance on that corner. Carter Abbott with a perfect play to send this game to a half. Just getting his hand on the tip of that ball, sending it into the top of the crossbar, and almost a per... We are back at McClyman, 45 minutes to save themselves. Ohio State find themselves down 2-0 to Wisconsin. Aiden Michaels, Matt Blaustein, the final 45 minutes of the Big Ten regular season. Bilek. Finding Keith across. Matt, what are we expecting from Ohio State? What do you think was said in the halftime talk from the coaches and the players? I, I, I th you know, it's tough. It's tough for me to even put it to words. I think they're honestly in shock just as much as we are up here. Wisconsin, who came into this matchup ranked seventh in the Big Ten, only two wins in the conference so far. Obviously, the history is precedent here where you know, obviously the history of Ohio State at Wicklimen has been not that good. Last win being in 2014. But I think that the coaches for Ohio State just had to tell them, like, look, we need to adjust our offensive game plan here. But we also need to make sure we're not giving up as much as we have been on defense. 
just keep working more as a cohesive unit and just putting it together. And they're going to have to get something going. They've been so good all season. This is not the way you want to end your year. Of course, they do have the Big Ten tournament. And with the ranking they have, I mean, there is a possible chance uh, they could find themselves in the NCAA tournament, depending on how they do in the Big Ten tournament. But it all starts with this game. And the conference title would surely help. And in the three-horse race, if the results hold with that 1-0 result at Indiana, Maryland and Indiana would share the title, and Ohio State would miss out. And so to the viewers, we'll keep giving you updates on Indiana and Maryland. They currently are at the half right now, but when they come back, we will let you know if anything happens in that match. As I'm sure some Ohio State fans at home have this game split screen. As they knew they were going to have to keep themselves updated with more than one game today. Syverson. Popkowitz. And going all the way back to Drew Brown. Popkowitz wins a throw. So Wisconsin looking to maintain the momentum and carry that over to the second half. Ohio State are desperate, and I think Wisconsin know that. And you can surely feel it. So just under five minutes gone here. Wisconsin, another throw at the halfway line. Popkowitz down the line, brought down by Wampler. Wampler keeps it in nicely. Looking for an option, decides to go back to Brown. Brown with a lot of pressure coming. Somehow getting it away from Tanner Creech. A long switch brought down by Keenan, but heavy touch out of play. So a break for Ohio State as they look to mount an attack. We almost lost it there, but somehow, in some way, getting it by two Wisconsin players, and this is bad. This doesn't look good at all. Writhing and pain on the ground there. And it looks like Tim Bilek, and that is not a good look. He is the one who fouled Parker Grinstead, but he was rolling around as soon as he hit the ground. That does not look good at all. And Bilek's a player who doesn't stay down when he gets taken down, so this... Yeah, Bilek's not a player that typically flops for the Badgers. He's someone who really just plays through anything. Really tough kid, really good player for the Badgers. And this is not what the Badgers need right now. This is not what they want to see. And though they're calling for more staff now, so it is serious. Uh, this, is, this is not a good look at all. And course has started in every single game this year started in all but one game last year one of the team captains of Wisconsin of course we saw that beautiful ball he played to create the first goal he has six assists on the season leads the Badgers just a very very important part of this team and Bilek helped to his feet here. He's going to be helped off the pitch. He's not able to put any weight, though, on that, oh. on that right leg. Not a good sign for the Badgers. Not a good sign for Tim Bilek. Incredibly unfortunate, especially on senior day for the captain. Uh, it's just not, not a good look when it happens to anybody, and we hope that Tim Bilek is okay. Now in for the Badgers, number 26, Mitchell Dryden. Of course. You know, Aiden, yes. in, Nor in Norse mythology, they talk about Valhalla as a place that you only reach when you go down in combat. And Tim Balak has deserved that Valhalla, that Nirvana. He's been so crucial for the Badgers all year to go down in his last game at his home pitch, but also help the Badgers reach a 2-0 lead here 
says a lot about him and says a lot about his character. So as he limps off, don't remember him, Badgers fans, for getting hurt in this last game. Remember him for what he did for you to start this match. And it's got to have some sort of motivation for Wisconsin to continue for their captain. And, you know, we saw a, a very similar situation with the women's program here at Wisconsin with Emma Jaskinick going down with an injury as well and how Wisconsin just powering through to win for their captain. And that's exactly what the men's program is going to try and do for Timmy. Ball sent in and headed up by Syverson and then cleared away by Ira Barron. And so while we are here awaiting this throw in, it is going to be the start of the second half right now for Maryland and Indiana. So we will keep you posted on the score of that game and if any goals are scored here. Indiana is still up 1 0. Wampler chasing Demian, who sends it across to Sullivan. The redshirt junior is named the team captain this season, beginning of the year, and has actually one goal from center back. It was all the way back in September against Akron, but has been a defensive presence for Ohio State. Irabaran, Popkowitz wins a free kick, or Dryden wins a free kick, excuse me, Popkowitz had it after. And not a bad area for a set piece for Wisconsin, and they've, they've had a little bit more success on these types of set pieces rather than the corner kicks and the ones that come on this side of the pitch as Syverson's left foot will put an in-swinger. And here is Syverson's in-swinger. Still not out, the flag is up though, so offside nonetheless. But Ohio State struggling to get that ball clear. Bailed out by the flag. McLaughlin forward. Wisconsin get it right back, Finnegan. Keenan, the man of the hour for Wisconsin. Gets that taken away. Sullivan has it for Ohio State. He needs to get it clear, he does. And Keith's able to get just the slightest of touches on that, and Ohio State will take a throw. Give Wisconsin a chance to reset in the back line and for Ohio State to get some numbers forward. <laughs> Wooden. Pass across, Samways. Dakota. Trying to go through the legs of Popkowitz, but it did go off Popkowitz last. Throw in down the line. Getting there first was Brown, sending that one away. Pakota. And a missed kick from him, a goal kick for Wisconsin, and not the best of moves from him. He's had a pretty good game so far. Pakota coming that out. That one for the sub. Buckeyes, number nine, Devin and Etling. Speaking of sub, Ohio State will make one here and uh, quite a big one. So back on the pitch is Devin Etling, who was playing as a striker for Ohio State last half. He will do the same, it looks like, here, up with Tanner Creech as he wins the header right away. Syverson will win a free kick. He gets taken down by Pakota. And quite a size difference between the two. But Syverson ends up on the ground, but he does end up with a free kick for the Badgers. Yeah, Pakota's not a small guy. Syverson's just a big dude, so <laughs> Makes taking down a small. lot. That's right. And Ohio State with uh, a couple of tall players of their own. McLaughlin being their tallest guy at 6'4", but Syverson is just a different level. <laughs> and Wisconsin do win the free kick there, so drawing that was Michael Wampler and just outside the area, about five or six feet outside the area, will be a free kick for the Badgers. So Syverson will have an opportunity 
to whip one in. You've got Drew Brown just outside the area. Standing next to him, Jack Finnegan outside the area. Just inside the D. You've got five guys in the box for Wisconsin. And Syverson standing over. Syverson puts one in. Not clear. Brown got a foot to it. Keaton on the turn. And it's over the bar. And just, I would say, inches away from a second goal, but that was a little more than a couple of inches. And it's so tough to receive the ball back towards goal and turn and shoot. And it wasn't quite wide, but just a little too high there from Keenan. Ohio State have the throw. It's thrown in quickly across the back line to Demian. Brought down by Samways and played forward. And Wisconsin have a throw. And just looking at the sidelines, it's Reed Davis looking to make his fourth appearance for Ohio State. So he hasn't played much this season for the Buckeyes, and uh, it looks like head coach Brian Mazinov uh, looking to make a bit of a change here for Ohio State. Change the scenery, put someone who hasn't had much playing time, see what they can do. Here come the Buckeyes though. Brown has to deal with it. Bit of an uncomfortable one. Sends it across rather than out, and uh, Ohio State will take a throw, and now it gives time to uh, Make a substitution, Reed Davis. And Tanner Creech will come off because he hasn't been able to do too much on the attacking front for Ohio State. So a new attacking option up front for the Buckeyes. Pakota just outside the area. Samways throws one toward goal to the back post. Etling finds a lifeline for Ohio State and they get one back as Etling grabs the ball out of the goal and it's 2-1. Great goal for Ohio State, exactly what they needed to get them back in this match. The Ohio State goal scored by number nine, Devin Etling. And Devin Etling, who scored his only goal of the season in the opener against Butler back in August, scores in the final regular season game of the season. And a huge lifeline for Ohio State, but a bit of an interesting clearance there from Anthony Samways. Yeah, that was a huge miscue there. You could see Demian was not happy at all with that play. Samways just let the ball kind of doink off his head out of bounds. Now it's gonna be a, a corner kick here for the Badgers. And remember, remember how crucial the Badgers have been, but Tim Bilek now out of this matchup, sporting some tape around his knee. So Syverson's gonna not have Tim Bilek up at the top of the key here. Instead, he's gonna look for someone else to get the job done. It's headed away, and Popkowitz is gonna let it run for a little bit. And so you could see Jack Finnegan almost missed that header. Got very lucky there, nearly ran into the post there. So great play there um, by Finnegan. Still not clear though, great move. Put it towards goal. McLaughlin maybe got a touch to it, but a great play on the side there, and you could see the student section you could hear the student section make their uh, sounds and oohs and ahs about that play. Yeah, great heads up save there by McLaughlin. Really just needs to be luck locked down right now with 32 minutes left in this half to enable Ohio State to get a comeback and potentially even win. Remember, Ohio State must win here. So Syverson will have another chance on the corner. Looking to add one more to the lead. Floats one to the back. Finnegan got his head to it. Sullivan heads it clear. Pakota getting there for Ohio State. Bit too much on that, just getting away from Xavier Green. But Ohio State look hungry, and it's that man right there, Devin Etling, who we talked about being an enormous physical presence for the Buckeyes, found his head just moments ago and is not letting up here. 
Wisconsin are gonna need to do their best to get another one and add another insurance goal to their total. As remember, if we just look at the results of the Indiana game, Ohio State, if they tie it up against Wisconsin, that doesn't quite do enough to win it outright. However, if they do end up tying it, then that's when we talk about the three-way tie. But we'll get there when we get there. Wisconsin not done yet. Here is Keenan on the outside, finding Wampler. Irabarin couldn't quite get there. And he'll get called for a foul, and he knows it. Pakota receiving it nicely. Popkowitz chasing back. Samways up forward. Davis couldn't keep it in, but it goes off of Popkowitz, and he is not happy about that, screaming at the linesman for that call. Wooden just slips, and Popkowitz gets his throw back, but. 30 minutes to go for Ohio State to save their season. And they haven't won a Big Ten Conference title since 2015. Of course, ironically, the last time they beat Wisconsin was in that very season. Ball played across, not the best of balls, and it's intercepted. Your barn tries to get it back, but somehow still with it is Velios. Velios with a lot of speed on the overlap. Here come the Buckeyes into the area. The shot, and just sails wide, and Abbott was looking at it. He didn't even move, and Matt, you see in the box, another injury We possibly. have another injured Badger. It looks to be Ryan Keefe, and I think he's just cramping. You can see him doing the stretch there. Yeah, he's, he's cramping. He's not, should be okay. So he's grabbing that, looks to be the right leg or pie. Yeah, he's cramping, he's, just, he's fine. Just a bit of a cramp, and yep. it happens, and I know Badger fans holding their breaths, watching that as they've already seen Bailey go down. You do not want to see another Badger go down. Luckily, he's back up, just a cramp, and we move on. So a good chance from Ohio State, and maybe that shot shouldn't have gone wide, but Wisconsin getting uh, the best of that and getting a little lucky there. Dryden. Linesman said it was Wisconsin's. The referee said it was Ohio State's. That was truly a 50-50. Shielding it, but couldn't keep it in was Demian, and he thought that was gonna keep rolling, but he couldn't quite keep it in. So now Wisconsin have a throw and in a pretty good position here. Throw into the box, off the head of Wampler. He last to get it away. Finnegan has it back. Samways gets it clear, but it took a deflection off of Finnegan. Pakota falling, being surrounded by Wisconsin Badgers, and he wins a free kick. And when you have the ball and you're surrounded by that many defenders, it's kind of hard not to win a free kick. One of them's going to get their foot in, and Pakota did well there to draw a foul. Wooden. Here's Pakota again. Wooden has it back. Davis plays it and back out for Gila. Keith does well to get the ball back. Wampler making the run. Here is Keenan. Syverson, heavy touch. Finds Finnegan. Here is Jack Finnegan with the left. Shot is blocked. Pakota has to get it clear, he does. And now here come Ohio State on their counterattack. Some numbers forward for them. Etling, the goal scorer for the Buckeyes. Arabaran has to get it clear, and he does. Gila. Samways on 
the right flank, he'll get it right back. Pakota wins the throw. So a great counterattack from Ohio State, and that'll give them the opportunity to make a sub. It's Braden Durbin coming back. Now on. in for the Buckeyes, number five, Braden Durbin. The taking arrest is Thomas Gila, the German from Fuppertal. Samways. Across to Durbin. Velios. On the outside now. Velios gets it back in some space. In by Velios. Pakota with the header. And over the bar and slightly wide. But Pakota, who. Now in for the Badgers, number two, Nils Pilato. Isn't uh, one of the tallest players getting his head to that one in the box, and him and Etling have been all over the field physically, offensively, defensively, in every aspect. And they're really playing like it is their last game. As uh, the first goal scorer for Wisconsin getting a break. And it's Nils Veloto finding himself back on the field for the first time today, but. The freshman who normally started for Wisconsin finds his way back on. Well, Love pass. back hill played, and here comes Finnegan into the area. Jack Finnegan cutting inside. Finnegan! That was a one-man job right there. Jack Finnegan with an insane dribble there. Receiving that backwards pass and just getting that great dribble around the defense for Ohio State, putting it right behind McLaughlin. So now Wisconsin is up three to one with 25 minutes and 38 seconds left in this match. And oh my goodness, Aiden, who you have ever predicted to score for this game? Not at all. A massive goal of seismic proportions from Jack Finnegan. And Ohio State, who thought they had a lifeline, is absolutely shot down by Jack Finnegan. The Wisconsin goal scored by number seven, Jack Finian. Four goals on the season, four assists. He'll come off now for Marquez to a round of applause. And Jack Finnegan, a now hero in, in Madison. Nine, Ignacy Marquez. And as far as the Maryland-Indiana game goes, there has not really been much of an update. It still is 1-0. Etling wins a free kick, excuse me, Wooden wins a free kick. And Ohio State needs something here. They need it badly. They can fight for the draw. They're looking for the win. They need some goals here. And it's, it's not quite falling for them. And Wisconsin not letting up. And we're looking at a potential upset here. Wooden, the Englishman, standing over this free kick. Puts one into the box. Header not clear, and Marquez sends it away. Wooden from the back. Nice ball played forward. Falls for Etling. Goal number two for Devin Etling. And just like that, Ohio State back in it. Not done yet. It looks like there's some keys in here from the Badgers. The Buckeyes goal scored by number nine, Devin Etlin. So as we said earlier, he scored one goal in the opener. Since then had not scored, has now scored twice in this game. And we are really seeing a special game now here at McClyman. It is 3-2. And I think what the Badgers were confused about, Matt, is that there seemed to be a bit of a foul, possibly on Etling. Referee didn't see anything, so Etling, of course, wasn't gonna stop, and he was just gonna fire that one to the back of the net, as he always does. And now there's going to be a bit of a stoppage of play here. and There's almost a challenge here, I believe, from head coach of the Badgers here, Neil Jones. And he's not happy. I think he just wants a bit of an explanation. Why does that stand? And he'll have a word now with Neil Jones. He's essentially just going to tell him, I didn't see a foul there. And 
Neil Jones is going to get the explanation. It's not really going to change much, I don't think, but of course he is free to voice his opinion, but he can't be happy with that. So we go again. Ohio State, 24 minutes to again save their season. And it's virtually impossible to tell who has the momentum now. It's just swaying back and forth. Veloto with his first touch of the ball. Wampler tried to get to Veloto back. 50-50, Irabarin gets the last foot to it. Sullivan. Here is Wooten. Poked away nicely there by Marquez. Here he is. Keith forward. Wampler chasing. Shielding is Sullivan. And Sullivan does well there to win a goal kick. Forward by McLaughlin. Headed down by Ira Barron. Possible collision there, but here comes Veloto skipping away. Great defensive play by Durbin, and surely Veloto is going to get called for it, and he does. And I'm surprised that's not a yellow card. Yeah, that was nasty. That was really nasty, and I am expecting to see the medical team out here. Um, can't figure out who that is on Ohio State, but his head, it's Braden Durbin. His head got spiked into the turf here. And I, I'm honestly really surprised that there's no yellow card for Veloto because he lost possession of the ball cleanly. Durbin did well, and Veloto grabbed the arm of Braden Durbin, brought him down. They do get the free kick, but in many, many cases, we've seen that be called a yellow card. Etling with a header towards goal. Dakota not quite there. I mean, Etling has been, at least on the Ohio State front, their best player by far. And of course, the two goals says that, but even before that, the physicality that he was showing shows that he really wants to be here. And we're not really seeing that from much of the Ohio State uh, front line, at least. So Etling providing that for the Buckeyes as some subs will be made. So Keenan coming back on. That one for the Badgers, number eight, Maxwell and Keenan. So uh, Bilo coming on for Ohio State. For the Buckeyes, number 15, so Pakota does get the rest. Samway's the throw in. Etling flicks it on. Reed wins the header. Your Barron has to deal with it. Goes across to Keith. Brown the header away. Keenan, I don't know if he was trying to keep that in or just trying to waste a bit of time there, but absolutely clobbers that one on the hill. Ball towards the area, over the head of Keefe. Veloto chasing, and he gets it away, only as far as Durbin, the man he brought down moments ago. Last off of an Ohio State player. Looks like a bit of a miss kick rather than a deflection. So Wisconsin do get the goal kick. see Parker Grinstead about ready to come back on. Much needed for Ohio State. Wisconsin win a free kick. Marquez goes down. Yeah, pretty clear foul there. This game's getting pretty scrappy here, Aiden. Absolutely. In a game like this, between these two sides, of course, Wisconsin and Ohio State, this rivalry, but also with what's on the line, not only that, but the score line. I mean, there's so many factors. And this is just an absolute classic here. Syverson. Flag is up against Chandler. And the second offside of the day going against Wisconsin. 
So Grinstead about to come on. It looks like Gila about to come on, getting instructions from his coach. So a couple of vital pieces to this Ohio State lineup. About to come back on here. Brown, beautiful ball played forward. Keenan on the left. One on one with Samways, Keenan. Finds its way to Popkowitz. Great reception by Marquez. Syverson across, Irobarin going back out wide to Popkowitz. Keenan, and off of Samways, so Wisconsin have a corner. Good bit of passing there on the left side by the Badgers. So this is almost the moment of truth here for the Badgers. 18 minutes, 34 seconds left in this match. Syverson once again could take this corner kick. Can the Badgers score one more and put this slightly more out of reach of Ohio State? Playing to the edge of the area. Here is Popkowitz towards goal. Not cleared. And now out of the area and a free kick won by Ohio State. While we await for this free kick, I have to notify everyone that I have now been hit by a rock. <laughs> yes, somehow. I don't know how that happens, but. Oh, there's a souvenir for you, Matt. Ohio State have the throw, and that'll finally give them the time to bring on Parker Green. Now in for the so Buckeyes, number 10, Parker Green. Coming off, Xavier Green. Well deserved rest from him as Grinstead coming on for Ohio State. Out by Syverson and Samways will have the throw for Ohio State right back. Samways finding Demian, Durbin. Sullivan. Bring it down towards goal. Off of Syverson, and then Chandler sends it up. Davis forward, Etling who's on a hat trick. Gets taken down, a penalty shout, but nothing called. And Etling finding himself Threw on goal again. It was a good defensive play by Wisconsin, but Etling, my goodness. Etling just and Abba just sharing some banter with each other. All smiles, though, so no bad sign there. No vitriol. Off the head of Popkowitz and Ohio State back in Wisconsin's half with the throw. Etling with the header. Samways, touched on nicely, Davis. Samways looking to get it back and he does. In by Samways, all the way to the back post. Davis with the header, chasing his Velios. Velios puts it back into the box. Etling with the jump, couldn't get to it. The volley is blocked and then cleared up but not away. Marquez wins the header, Dryden chasing. No foul called, that's, that's the correct decision from the referee. Wooten, a little bit of a miss kick, but it might just work out for him, and it does. Velios, Grinstead, Ohio State not letting up here. Here is Parker Grinstead, took a deflection. And the referee signals a corner, and Inyaki Irabaran is irate. And now here comes the substitution, so Thomas Gila Now in for the Badgers, on. number seven, Jack Ashton Bilo. Coming off In now. For Ohio State, number six, JF7 Thomas. coming back on for Gile. Wisconsin. And it'll be Mitchell Dryden making way. Gosh. 
Massive corner for the Buckeyes. Headed towards goal, oh my goodness. How close was that? Just under 15 minutes to go. Wooden wins the header. Grinstead has it back. Davis brings it down and Popkowitz takes it away. Tripped up and Gila wins a free kick. And this is one of those where you might not want to play it too quickly. You want to let your team get set up before you send it into the box here. And Samways, who has a lot of assists this season from set pieces like this, leads the team with five. In desperate need of his sixth. We'll see what he does with this free kick. Puts one towards goal, it's not a bad ball. Abbott's there to claim, he does well, and Etling takes another fall, and my goodness, he gets up. Gila wins the first header. The second goes to Marquez, but Gila has it right back. Wisconsin get it back from him. Sam Blaze with the clearance off his head. And Wisconsin have yet another throw. Shielded by Demian. Winning a goal kick for Ohio State. They've got to get going here. Etling chasing, trying to get around Chandler, who's able to make the clearance and send it out of play. Grinstead. Back for Velios, across to Gila. Samways, Wooden, Wooden fires one into the area, headed away. Cyrus in a touch to it. Ohio State still with it. And then Wooden gets taken down. Wins a free kick. And ball was still rolling, so he'll have to Take that again, he'll drop it off for Nathan Damien, his co-captain. Sullivan from the back. Pass cut off by Syverson and he is not happy with himself there as he does give up a throw. Not much he really could have done there. Sullivan. Goes back, look at the numbers forward. The line is so high for Ohio State. Putting all they can up front. Samways. Trying to get around Keenan. Samways finds his way by Keenan. And then a ball given away. Wisconsin still can't get it clear. Have to be careful not to foul here, Wisconsin. Keenan, shielding, lovely turn, and he's gonna win a free kick. Keenan, a great turn to get away from Wooden. And finally, they have a chance to get it out of their zone. And Drew Brown is told to hurry up from the referee. Got to be careful. He could get a yellow card for something like that as we approach the final 10 minutes. Finnegan flicks it over Samways. Keenan gets it right back to Finnegan. 
in a dangerous area. Finnegan plays it across, but stopped up by Velios. Finnegan had an open lane there, trying to figure out who he was trying to get that to. Not enough on it regardless, but a bit of an open lane for Finnegan to score and just wasn't able to capitalize on it, which is incredibly unfortunate for the Badgers. You wonder why he didn't try and take that shot there as he always seems to find the back of the net in those positions. Nonetheless, here come Ohio State. Durbin plays it across. Here's Velios. Puts one into the box, looking for Etling. Punched away by Abbott. Great play there by Abbott coming out of the box to get away that ball. Finally, it's cleared. Chasing is Finnegan. And it's all the way back for McLaughlin. Oh, brought down nicely there by Wooden. And now he's going forward with it. Wooden puts one into the box, looking for the header. And it looks like maybe advantage played. Either way, Abbott's got it. Looked like it could have been a foul against Ohio State. But it doesn't matter because Wisconsin have it regardless. But you can almost sense it from Ohio State. They are just chipping away for a goal here. And they're going to look to bring on some more threats. So that one for the Badgers, number 21, on. Michael so Wampler. Durbin will get the rest. In for Ohio State, number 11, Xavier Green. And then about to come on in just a moment for Ohio State is Luciano Picota. As Veloto gets his few minutes of playing time today, and he'll come off for Michael Wampler. Syverson's pass is blocked, but he gets it right back with a slide. Gives it right back away, though. Brown has to deal with it. Now a bit of a late reaction there from Reed Davis. He's going to win a free kick. It definitely is a free kick. Possibly some theatrics, but it is a foul, and Ohio State do have a free kick rightfully. And in a very good area. So we know the quality of crosses that can be put in by Anthony Samways. We'll see what he can do here. Samways to the back post. Abbott punches it away. And a pretty bad collision. I think the referee is eventually going to have to stop this here. He keeps looking back. But he can't because there's an attack here. Marquez. Finnegan. Etling is up now. So nothing too serious. Finnegan still keeping it in. Wampler! Just wide. Can't put that one together. That was that was tough to watch almost. Now in for the Badgers, number 26, Mitchell Dryden. And Wampler, who hasn't scored for, since say, number 14, Luciano August. You just know Wampler's beating himself up for that one. He had an open shot at the goal almost and just wasn't able to, able to put it anywhere close to the net. And it was put on a platter by Jack Finnegan. Wampler just wasn't quite ready for it and that surely could have put the game to bed. With six and a half to go here, Ohio State not done. That one, wow, interesting call there I think. Took a deflection off of uh, Keenan, I believe, but the referee did not see the, what I saw, so Wisconsin will take a throw. Here's Pakota coming back on. He's just been subbed on for Ohio State. Looking for Etling. Cleared away. Green will have another stab at it. Gila sends it across for Velios, a positive touch forward, Dryden chasing. Here comes Dalen Velios. Still with it, Velios. Sends it across. Wooten. Now Samway is going to look to put one in the box here. He does. Samway puts it in over the head of Etling and of Davis. Velios, great play to get the ball back. Just outside the area. Finds Pakota. Luciano, Pakota, shot blocked. Here is Velios. What a save again from Abbott. And cleared out of the area. That is the second unbelievable save of the game for Carter Abbott. Now Wampler's going to get it back for Wisconsin. 
but he'll get called for a foul. Oh my goodness, another save by Carter Abbott. Absolutely a real game from Abbott so far today. He's let two in, but don't let that distract you from the fact that he's been unreal. He's let two in, so it's 3-2, but it could have easily been 4-3 Ohio State with a couple of the saves that he's made today. It is really his game. Wooten can't find an option, so he goes back to Samways. Green cutting inside. Xavier Green to the middle. Davis couldn't get to it. A bit of a heavy ball across by Xavier Green. But Ohio State are really, really pushing it here. Samways finding Green. Pakota wins a throw. So four minutes remaining in our game. About nine minutes remaining in the Indiana game. Same score, 1-0, for those of you concerned. So Ohio State pushing very, very hard for a share at this title. It seems almost impossible, not impossible, improbable though, for them to win the title outright, but they still have a chance here to get a share of it. And it's a chance now, but straight into the hands of Abbott. And that was the chance they needed. In the box, a one-time shot, in a lot of space, but straight to Abbott. Abbott slips, perfectly goes to Syverson though. So uh, they caught a break there, Wisconsin, and now Dryden is gonna take it by Velios. Velios catching up with him and winning it back perfectly. A oh, huge miss kick there by Anthony Samways, and that could very well cost them. That is a mistake you cannot afford to make, especially at this point in the match. Two and a half minutes to go here. Etling wins the header. Davis brings it down, somehow stays with it. Wooden headed away by Brown. Gila now chasing his Wampler. Wooden on the right side. Pakota trying to get around Syverson. Syverson gets the better of it. Keenan. Look at Keenan go. And surely he's won a throw, he has. One minute 40 left in this match. Wampler keeping it in. And he wins a free kick. And that almost looks like it's gonna do it here. You cannot afford to make that miscue right now if you're Ohio State. One minute 15 left in this match. 3-2 Wisconsin. Syverson. Ball intercepted. He tried to go one to the corner. Play, one minute. And now Ohio State on the attack as we approach the final minute. Gila switching it across, giving away to Keenan. And he'll just boot it forward as he takes a look at the clock. And you can see Nathan Demian is hurting, keeps bending over. Just got 40 seconds left, needs to push through. It's the most important 40 seconds of your season. Finnegan's gonna take it forward. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. This could be the last attack for Ohio State. They need it here, it flicked on. Syverson. Has it for Wisconsin. He's gonna try and run the clock out. Finnegan, no one pressuring him. 10 seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, 
Seven, as the clock six, is winding down. Five, Absolutely four, improbable, Aiden. Three, Do you believe in miracles? Two, one, a miracle zero. of the climate here. The Wisconsin Badgers have beaten the Ohio State Buckeyes three to two. And Ohio State's season ending in heartbreak. And Ohio State 